Okay, so we're going to make um, Aussie meat pies, puff, pa puff pastry for the crust. Um, we've got top round for the beef, onion, celery, garlic, rosemary, bay leaves, thyme, carrot, Lee and Perrin's uh, Worcestershire sauce, a bit of soy sauce, beef stock and some flour for thickening. So let's get to it. Okay, so now we took the meat and we chopped it into fine uh, little cubes. We uh, chopped the onion fine, we chopped the carrot fine, smashed the garlic, chopped the celery. And now on to um, cooking the meat. Okay, so now we're going to put the heat onto the pan. Put olive oil, plenty of it because we've got lots of meat. And then, turn on the hood. then we'll uh, wait for this uh, oil to heat up and then we'll start sautéing the meat. Okay, so the oil is uh, warmed up so we're going to put the um, meat in. We've got a lot of meat, put it around. And so the idea here is we'll just stir this around, get it nicely browned up, and I'll come back when we're uh, at that point. Okay, so we got it nicely uh, browned up. You can still see a bit of roundness there. We got the liquid falling out of that. And then we're going to throw in some red wine. And we're going to throw in some beef broth. Here we are. Okay, and we're going to put a top on this and just simmer it away for a, a period, okay, until we get it to loosen up a bit. So that's the uh, idea. We'll get the top and flip that on. So we now have the heat. I'll get the heat up so it'll just come to a bubble and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so as this is coming up uh, to get a bit of bubble on it, we're going to just drop in the herbs now because there's plenty of liquid in here and that'll get the nice essence of these herbs into the mixture. And then um, we'll just make sure that, that they're covered nicely. Yeah. So let's let this bubble away. We've got a good boil on there, so we'll just put the top on here and let that simmer. Next thing is to do the onion and so on, so we'll put the heat on here. And put um, olive oil. Let that throw in the um, garlic as that's heating up. That's the garlic. Here goes the celery. Right. Then we got the onions. Got the carrots. So we kind of get this going, move this around. So what we're going to do is um, cook this on a medium heat. It's on high right now to get some heat into the pan. So I'll turn that down. We'll be cooking that along so and get it into a nice state. So we're about the 22 minute mark. This um, meat is simmering away nicely. I've taken the cover off now to help it reduce down in the volume of liquid. And then across on the other burner over here, we've got the, um, the veggies simmering away. And now what I've done over here is put out the puff pastry. It takes about 40 minutes to soften up. Uh, you, you can't open it up. It's all stiff. If you try and open it now, it'll break. So that's going to sit there for 40 minutes and warm up. I could have put this out earlier, but that's um, that's the deal here right now. So that's where we're at. 
Okay, so we got both uh, the veggies are pretty cooked. The meat is um, getting more tender, uh, and I could keep on going with that. But um, probably the best thing to do now, because I just tried a, the meat, and it's just not um, uh, tender enough. It doesn't fall apart enough to be really good in a pie. I could put it in a pie, but let's uh, aim for something a bit better. So I'm going to combine these um, uh, into a big pot and um, uh, put them in the oven and let that um, uh, meat uh, um, turn into a much uh, tenderer consistency. So I'm going to do that uh, I'll be back. Okay, so here's the, um, uh, the combined mixture. Uh, it's got liquid up to the surface, so it's going to braise away in the oven to get it down to a nice tender uh, mix. So that's what I'm going to do. The oven's at 350 and I'm going to stick it in the oven for an hour. Okay, before I put it in the oven, I'm just going to put some Worcestershire sauce in. Just a couple of runs around the bowl there. And then we'll just swirl that around a little bit. Make sure everything's under the surface and stuff like that. And then we'll pop the uh, top on and put that in the oven. Okay, so we um, had it in the oven for about an hour, just braising away. And then I took the, um, the pot out of the oven, put it on the stove with the top off and let it reduce down in liquid. And uh, so uh, after an hour in the oven I left to reduce down for probably about an hour, uh, 45 minutes, something like that. Uh, so now uh, I've got the uh, mixture here uh, in the pie plates and I'm going to get the um, uh, pastry ready, which is over here. We can kind of see if I move over into this section that I've got the uh, pastry, um, puff pastry laid out it's uh, almost ready to roll and so I'm going to roll it out and then put it on top of these pie plates and then bake it. Okay, so we've got the um, pastry rolled out here I've measured it to make sure it will fit across pretty much so we kind of put this across here and then what we want to do is um, get a, a little knife and uh, cut this around on the edge so it'll fit the uh, see see how you can cut that there like that okay so just make sure you can see this it's a nice sharp knife cut it around on the edges and you kind of roll it out and you measure it you know with a tape measure just to make sure that it fits and then um, you can come across with a, a fork and just make a little pattern on the edge. If you're right handed, I was trying to do that left handed, which is actually good for developing your right hand brain. But here we go, you can see this is what's good for that one. So we're just going to do the other one and notice it's sitting down in the um, uh, pie plate right now but as it cooks it'll lift up and we'll get a nice brown crust. The way to get a nice brown crust is to use a beaten egg and to um, put that on there. So we'll show you um, that uh, next. Just a little bit of uh, stuff. You've got a rolling pin. This is the original uh, dough so you can roll it out. You want to get it you know, as wide as the uh, pie dish. So you roll this back and forth to make it um, nice and big. And we can do it this way as well. So you just thin it, thin it out, making it large enough to fit the pie plate. And you just measure the pie plate and make sure this is rolled out enough to fit. So that's a little incredibly simple lesson in rolling up puff pastry. Okay so now we've uh, got some egg beaten up 
And we're just going to take a, a little brush and um, paint the um, egg wash onto the um, puff pastry. One thing I didn't mention before is before I filled up these pies with the meat mixture, I fished out the um, bay leaves and the stalks off the rosemary and thyme because they're not <laughs> good to eat. So you got that nice mixture. So, Okay, so I'm going to finish this and when I finish I'll show you both pies before we put them in the oven. Okay, so here are the two pies. They have been painted with the egg wash. They're about to go in the oven at 350 degrees uh, for about half an hour. So I'm going to put them in and I'll check them at the 20 minute mark. The main thing is to look for is that this crust rises and goes uh, really brown. One thing to remember with pies and fillings and so on, particularly this meat filling, is it's much better to um, not overfill the pie um, plate because if you fill it up to the full top it'll bubble up and spill over in the oven and then it'll start burning as it drips onto the bottom of the oven you get smoke so uh, remember to underfill these do not um, fill them all full I, I've got them about halfway up maybe two-thirds would be okay but full up to the top of this it will cause a big problem okay so let's put these in the oven okay so we got one pie out of the uh, uh, oven. The other one's still uh, not quite done, but let's uh, work with this one and uh, let's uh, uh, cut a slice and I'll do that next. Okay, so I uh, cut a slice. This serrated knife is really great for cutting through the crust and uh, then you lift it up with this and you get the nice slice of pie. So that's uh, a great result. So we're going to taste it. Okay, so the verdict's in. It tastes really great and the meat is really tender. And that's because it was braised. Um, first on the stove top um, for I would say um, half an hour to an hour simmering away and then I put it in the, combine it with the vegetables, put it in the oven at uh, 350 or actually at 300 uh, for about an hour and then uh, I brought it out, put it on the stove top and simmered it with the top of that uh, um, raising pot off so it would reduce down, added the flour and got it to be a nice thick gravy. So it's a variable time because you've got to get the gravy thick and probably I had about six tablespoons of flour, four to six in there. <clears throat> you don't want to add too much because then you taste the floweriness. Um, so that uh, is a really good meat pie. Uh, it's not far off a uh, genuine Aussie article, um, except of course uh, I don't have the short crust underneath. So this is a cheetah's one because the pup pastry is just on top. But uh, the short crust underneath and cooking that and dealing with that is a big headache. Let the professionals deal with that. But this is a really great pie. You can see the crust and the meat and it's a really nice flavor. So I'd say that's a pretty good success.